Good morning, everybody. This is a typical weekend camp loadout for me. It's a little light, but uh, it fits in my canoe like nothing, like absolutely nothing. But here's the point. All of this, everything here, I'm going to try to get it in that little girl right there, this Argo 100XR by Pelican. I've done some modifications to it. Uh, I will go through these modifications in just a few minutes. Uh, but however, I'm hoping all of that gear fits on this thing. And more importantly, that it still floats. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Okay, as far as the modifications go, I think the most important modification I did was adding these. These keel protectors. Now, I did do a video on this in, in the, the, the product and everything else is listed in that video. So I did the bow which you just saw and this is the stern and now the first time I had this boat out I hit a log with the back here not a log a rock I should say um, and yeah there's not a mark on the boat that's just beautiful I may add some more I'm not entirely sure yet but that's the most important modification this hull material is strong but however I think you could scratch this up pretty good I really do, especially up here in rock country, where I am in Algonquin. All right, let's flip the boat over, and uh, I'll show you the other modifications that I've done. Okay, one of the mods that I put on was these handles. Um, these I bought from Canadian Tire, $14 a piece. Fantastic. Honestly, you can pick the boat up, no problem. Absolutely no problem from the ground, whatever you want to do, right? It just gives you much more leverage. Next, let's move to the stern. I put in two D-rings. Now these are bolted in with stainless steel hardware and I've, I've made up a strap. This strap can be used for multiple purposes. One, I can put a bag under it if I wish, or more importantly, I have a box which I purchased from Costco and uh, that box, will it's waterproof and it will contain all my food. I can put all my food in it and it'll sit right here. We'll set that up in a few minutes. Obviously, I did nothing to the hatch. The, I've added this here. This was riveted in, okay? So this was riveted in. This is for a phone, for my um, uh, GoPro, GoPro, my Goal Zero, which is a charging system. And I have a, a carabiner here that I can hook whatever I wish to that, all right? So that's done. Moving down the boat to the bow, it's a mount for a cup, hol a cup holder. And then here I put in four D-rings. Now this thing's cool. So I use the trucker's hitch here, and then I can take this off, which I'll do it now anyway. There. Take that off, and this bungee cord, I can put whatever I wish under it. Bags, whatever. It doesn't matter. There's tons. Plus, I have these bungee cords under here, which came with the boat. All right? The last thing I did was I added a bow and a stern rope which is coupled in the center, again using a trucker's hitch right here. So I put a, a figure eight knot here with a loop, obviously. And then a trucker's hitch here. I can undo it and that gives me a stern line. And it also gives me a bow line or it gives me something that I can use just to control the boat when I'm going down a river. Like if I'm wading, if I'm walking down a river, right? So I think that's, uh, I think we're good. Now what we're going to try to do is fit all of that onto this boat. Let's get at it. <laughs> Here's Chippy found me. There, Chip. There you go, buddy. I always carry a pocket full of peanuts for these guys. Okay, first things first is my Eureka Chrysalis hammock. I love this thing, it's fantastic. It's totally wet, waterproof, it, it's great. This is gonna go in the bow of the boat as far as I can go, right? Next is gonna be my sleeping bag. The sleeping bag is in, I have it in two different compression bags. The first compression bag that's in here is a totally waterproof compression bag. This is a, a secondary compression bag which is not waterproof it's um it's just to protect the other compression bag just in case right so that can go under the bow too and i still have room for my feet okay this one is a um a north 49 pack 100 it's a waterproof pack i'm not putting in anything in this pack the reason i'm carrying it is that if i hit a portage trail i can throw all of this gear into the pack carry it across the portage trail, drop it, go back and get the kayak. And go right here. That's not going anywhere. That's perfect. We'll get a little more centered. 
One thing you got to realize with kayaks is that you got to center everything. Oh my God. You yeah, don't. Yeah, it's not good. There we go. That's center. Good. The Argo 100 comes with a removable seat, which is fantastic. It's great. Um, there, it's in. So it seats in. Now, let's load up the back. Okay, here in Ontario anyway, you have to have a, um, a safety kit. It's got a rope, a whistle, and a bailing bucket. This is the bucket here. It can just go back here. It can just slide right back there. And I can just literally tie it to the seat. The idea being is you don't want to flip and then lose everything, right? This is just a uh, Fox 40. I thought, you know, I thought it'd be pretty cool. I always like to carry a spare paddle. This thing's pretty cool, man. It just adjusts like that, right? And so if I ever was to break my paddle, at least I got something to paddle with, right? There's Chippy. There you go, buddy. Um, so this can go behind the seat too. Okay, the next thing for the kayak, this is what I call my possibles bag, okay? I take it on every camp I'm on in it. It has my fire lighting equipment, everything I need, a little bit of rope, a knife, uh, basic just camp stuff, right? This is actually going to go here. And I'm just going to take this clip and clip it to the seat. And that fits right behind the seat. Perfect. Good. Next is going to be, this is my thermarest. This is my, the thing I use for uh, underneath my bed, right? That can fit at the back. The seat goes up like this. There we go. This fits at the back. Slugs. Add this rope, I can just literally wrap. Wrap the thermal rest in here. And tie it to the seat. That way it's not going anywhere. Okay, so that's all behind the seat. Perfect. The one thing about the Argo uh, 100XR is that it does have a hatch, right? So this hatch, I'm gonna fill this hatch first before I do the next stage. This is where my clothing's gonna go. That's clothing for a weekend trip. So clothing will fit in. Wow, there's a lot of room. Holy cow. Okay, that's, oh my God, I can get a lot back here. Sheesh. All right, um, my pillow, blanket. I've got tons of room to put more stuff. Wow, okay. But you gotta be careful about weight, all right? You have to be careful about weight. You just do. Uh, but I can get, for sure I can get a raincoat in here. I can get whatever I wish. That's fantastic. I didn't know that. Okay, great. Okay, here comes the uh, the unit that I'm a little nervous about. These ties, you just simply put them around your seat. Use them later. They're not going anywhere. So a couple questions, you know. If any of you uh, guys or girls out there have been doing kayaking, uh, how do you portage all this stuff? I'm I, rhetorical, kind of, because... I've done thousands upon thousands of meters of portage, but anyway, I've just never done it with a kayak. Okay, here we go. Okay, this is the case, the coho case that I purchased from, um, uh, sorry, from Costco. And I uh, just got to line it up, that's all. Checking for balance. This case is incredible. So this case is amazing. This unit comes out. This is uh, where you can store stuff like, I just threw some stuff in here. That's first aid kit in there. Um, the, I have a first aid kit there. I have nothing in there at all, nothing. But I could store, uh, like for example, this, that's my, my headset. I could use that, put, Anyway, there's all kinds of things I can put in there. These are my utensils. That's all I need. My utensils are in there. Um, okay, let's go through this. So I got two trays. That's a rope bag. That's a, a survival, it's called Sol. It's like one of those silver blanket deals. So this is all my food. So my, my pot with my stove in it. I got my gas. I've got eggs. 
and I've got all my food that I need along with my plates and this is a fire lighting kit. Another fire lighting kit. So all of this fits in here like no problem at all. Not at all. So, and it is 100% waterproof. That's locked. Good. Now it has a lock here, which I'm going to put a lock on and I'll hang the barrel, barrel, I'll hang this box from, um, from a tree when I get to site. No, I'm not going into a site anytime soon, but boy, these chipmunks, man, I'm running out of peanuts. There you go, buddy. The other thing about these, this box is it has these slots, which is absolutely perfect for this. Perfect for a strap. Just cinch that down. That's done. It's not going anywhere. It's part of the boat. Perfect. Okay, last but not least is the cockpit. So this is Scotty Mount. I'm a lefty, so I like everything on the left side. Scotty Mounts, so far they seem cool, man. You just tighten that up and it cinches right in. That's perfect. This is my camera gear mount here. So that can go right here. Now, if you want to change the trajectory of it, so to speak, you can do so just like that. It's in, that's it. Totally adjustable, quite amazing. Okay, that's done. Next cup holder. Let me show you something cool about the cup holder, okay? So the cup holder will indeed hold my, my Nalgene bottle. That's not a problem at all. Um, but another thing I thought of while I was building this out is this is a, just a camp light. It takes like three uh, AAAs. That can sit right here. Because if I'm out at night, I can turn this on and it'll light up the whole cockpit plus everything around me when I need it, if I hear a boat coming, right? I can also grab it, I can wave it around so people will see me. Now, this just can simply tie in to the Scotty cup holder like this. That way, I'm not gonna lose it. That's a beautiful thing. Okay, let's move on. Here's, um, this is my water purifier. It's a Kated and it's an older one, but it works great. This, Locks in. Yeah, red, I know. So that locks in right there. So it's handy and it's ready to go when I need to pump water to get some water for my, uh, for drinking. This little strap unit here, this is why I made it. This is a goal zero. This is fantastic, I've had it for years. This charges in the sunlight. Obviously it's solar charged. Charges a battery pack in the back. I was thinking to myself, what can I do? Where can I carry this so that um, I have the ability to grab it and put it on deck when I need to charge? Well, that's why I made this strap right here. And this fits absolutely perfect. I'll put the battery inside. There we go. Done. Now I can grab that. And I do have, by the way, a beaner right here. So I can attach the beaner. So I don't lose it if I hit waves or something. I can attach the beaner to the strap. There we go. And obviously my water bottle. This can go like this and like that. There we go. We're done. The other thing I can do with the strap, my phone can go right there. So now everything is here. Okay, there you go. That's a full loadout for a weekend camp. Well, I can make it longer too, because that box still has room for food in it. So that's the, uh, the bow inside the cockpit, chipmunk feeding time, behind the seat, the coho, the, um, the box, and inside my hatch is my I got lots of room in there. Wow, I can get a lot more stuff in there. But again, remember, weight, okay? You gotta be careful with how much weight. This boat is um, suitable for 300 pounds. I'm a buck 80, that gives me 100 pounds to play with, which I'm not at yet. 
I'm not there. So there it is. And I've got lots of room. I've got room for my camera gear right here and my legs good. I'm going to put this thing in the water right now and see how she floats. <laughs> It'd be funny if it sinks. Oh boy. We'll see. My only worry is that that box is a little top heavy, right? But I don't think so because my weight inside the boat is going to hold it down. I don't think I'm going to have a problem, but we'll give it a shot. Well, that's stable. That's great. All right. Let's get in. This worked out way better than I thought. I've got all the gear I need for a weekend trip and this canoe, canoe kayak is still stable as crazy. This is amazing, uh, truly amazing. And I still have a lot of freeboard, which is good. <sighs> wow, I didn't know I could do this. Neat. Okay, that's it, you know what? If you're looking for a great weekend boat and you want to load it out like this, go ahead and do it, man. Pelican Argo 100 XR. It's fantastic. I can't believe the amount of stuff I got in here. It's freaking me out, really. Because you know what? I thought canoes were the, uh, the way to go all the time. And, and you know what? For, for the most part, they are. Because portaging this is something that I have no idea how I do it. Um, I've got my bag in the front. So I put all my gear in that bag harness the bag, hitch the bag up. I probably could carry everything in, in one go. Probably. <laughs> There's another test I have to do. Beauties. Anyway, I'm gonna paddle for a bit. Yeah, cool boat, man. Real cool boat. Oh my God, for the money? Sheesh. Uh, that's beauties. Thank you. 